Wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Friday, August 5th, 2022. And as you wake up and you start this brand new day, thank God for this day, commit this day to Him, use this day to bring glory and honor to our Lord. And use this day to, to share your faith with someone and encourage somebody. And while you're out and about today, take some time and give God praise. Because he is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of our worship. He is worthy of our thanksgiving. Today is August the 5th and it is National Water Balloon Day. And you know, water balloons, nothing's more fun than having a water balloon fight on a hot summer afternoon. And... uh I don't know what's more fun, filling them up or throwing them at somebody. And I think throwing them at somebody is the equivalent of throwing a snowball at somebody in the winter. Both of them are a lot of fun. Our scripture reading today, I want to be young again. Our scripture reading today is taken from the book of, or the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 22. And it is going to be verse number 36 through 38. Scripture says, Master, what, which is the great commandment in the law? Jesus answered, Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. Friends, we're wrapping up a, a study on heart surgery that we've been doing this week, and I hope that you've listened to each day's broadcast. If you haven't, of course, you can go back here on our site on Spree- Spreaker and listen to each each day's episode, and it would be even better if you subscribe via iHeartRadio or, or iTunes, Apple Podcasts, rather, or, um, let's see, Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, Google Podcasts. Anyone, wherever you get your podcast from, search for for Scripture Links Daily, wherever you get your podcast from, and make sure you you subscribe so you never miss an episode. But we've been studying all week, and we've been doing a progression all week on how to have heart surgery, how to get our heart lined up with God, how to have the heart that you can follow. Because you all heard the heard the saying, "Follow your heart," and and we we broke that down and found out we really couldn't follow our heart because in Jeremiah it says that our heart is wicked and it is deceitful. And as we went through the week, we've studied several things, and and I encourage you to listen to them. But for today, a teacher of the law came up, a lawyer, and asked him a question. Verse 35 says that he's tempting Jesus here. And he says to him, which is the great commandment in the law? In other words, this this lawyer, this Pharisee, whatever he was, wanted to know what the greatest commandment was. Not as if he was probably going to follow it, but he wanted to see what Jesus had to say on that. And how many times do we wonder what the greatest commandment might have been that, that was ever given? And Jesus answers him in verse 37 and said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. That's the great commandment. That's that's the first, according to verse 38, the first and the great commandment. Love the Lord thy God with all thy heart. Friends, if you have any kind of sin in your heart, if you have any kind of of bitterness in your heart if you have any kind any anything in your heart that goes against the lord it goes against his teachings his commandments then guess what you can't fully love the lord thy god with all your heart because there's something else in there that's why we're doing this heart surgery this week that's why we we discovered we needed heart surgery on monday on tuesday we talked about praying and asking God to give us a clean heart. And then on Wednesday, we pray, we we discovered that we need, once the heart gets cleaned up, we need to make sure we keep the heart diligently to make sure that it stays clean. And then yesterday, we discovered that our heart is always going to follow our treasure. So I asked the question, where is your treasure at? And if your treasure is on the things of this earth, then your heart's going to be on the things of this earth. And then you're not going to be able to fulfill the great commandment that Jesus said here, which is to love the Lord thy God with all your heart. 
You got to have that heart surgery. You got to get your life separated from the life that she had in this world. The church down the road from our house has one of those signs out front and they change the message periodically. And this week I noticed uh, when I drove by, it says you can't worship, you can't worship God and hold hands with the devil. And that's exactly what so many of us are trying to do. We're trying to, to fool God into thinking that we're living the Christian life and holding hands with the devil so that we can continue in the things that's in our comfort zone and the things that, that doesn't make us look odd to other people. A saying I used to use a lot, maybe I need to start saying it again, is you can't be a Christian on Sunday and a sinner on Monday. It doesn't work that way. You can't love the Lord thy God with all your heart if your heart isn't fully in, t- in tune to him. And if your heart is not in tune to him, then your soul's not going to be in tune with him and your mind is not going to be in tune with him. So therefore, you can't fulfill this great commandment that Jesus said was the first and the greatest. So where does that leave us today? Simple question. What do you love more? This is going to be hard. It's going to be very hard. You ready? What do you love more? Do you love God and the things of God more than you love the things of this world? Or does the things of this world take precedence over the things of God? told you it was going to be hard but friends only you can answer that question only you can give god that answer it's between you and him not you and me where are you at today how is your love for god have you been doing this heart surgery this week that we've been studying about think about that as you go through this day and remember get into god's word and allow god's word to get into you and then share that word with someone today. Have a blessed day.